Hey guys, today I am going to talk about Reed Duke and what he has done to our community. Reed Duke is not the hero of our community, he is in fact the villain. And the reason is because of his apology, he has made it acceptable to go pro persecute people based on guilt by association. So, just like Teresa Nielsen was persecuted, basically by Autumn and Gary T to a lesser extent, but nonetheless uh, defacing artwork to make a political point. Reed Duke has apologized. Eric Froelich, we knew that he would apologize. He's the dude who said, hey, white male here, privileged. And he, begins every, he, he should begin every post with it because it's very good for his likes and his clout. So back to Reed Duke and why what Reed Duke did was so dangerous to our community. Essentially, he apologized when he should not have. And the way that he apologized and how the apology is being taken. So instead of being very strong and standing up for his beliefs, he rewind and apologize, which now makes all the other social justice warriors think we are weak. And they think they can do that to everybody. So Reed Duke, supporting his friend Owen, can be forced to beg and plead and get on his knees and grovel. Then what magic member is not? Another example is Tolarian Community College was offended by Chandra not being bi. Or I don't know if she's a lesbian straight out. But Chandra being interested in men. That was unacceptable and Wizard of the Coast, due to Twitter and Reddit, changed Chandra into, for lore purposes, uh, tweeted that Chandra is in fact gay. Due to pressure from the community. So, Teresa Nielsen was also forced to apologize. But unlike Reed Duke, her apology was not taken as well because Autumn did not accept it. Autumn refused to accept Teresa Nielsen's apology, and that is the danger Reed Duke has put everyone in. Reed Duke has made it possible, and not only possible, but um, how should I say it? If you don't apologize for your beliefs, you will be kicked out of the MTG click community. Therefore, everyone must have the same beliefs. And the beliefs are the same as Autumn. So that's where we are. Um, I wish we were at a different point in Magic the Gathering, but that's where we are. And I don't think anyone can really question my opinion on this because it's my opinion. So instead of promoting the game and making it a safe community, as Reed Duke said, is very important. We are making it a place where people go on witch hunts and are forced to bend their knees and apologize while getting beaten down. Reed Duke held, up, held out for about two days before he apologized. That's all it took to break him. Now many of you will say, oh, well, first of all, we all get, Reed thinks his apology, Sam Block thinks his apology, Mary thinks his, everyone reading this knows this is an apology, okay? So don't give me some BS that he didn't apologize, he did. So let's get that out of the way. This is 100% a apology, right? 100% apology. Now, what is he apologizing? He's apologizing for his opinion. Just like Teresa Nielsen had to apologize for her opinion, and just like the Magic the Gathering art um, book writer apologized for his opinion. Tolarian Community College, the part-time college professor at a community college, obviously is a literary genius, His real goal was to make that offer lose his job and bend him to his will. The next time the offer thinks of making a heterosexual character, think again. And that's what the outcome is. So the next time any Wizard of Coast lore writer thinks about making Chandra heterosexual, nope, cannot be done. Because you will have a mob after you. 
I always thought that Chandra and Nissa was a good couple. Um, you can go to my other YouTube video a long time ago. I thought that was kind of interesting that Garuk was no longer there. And that was probably the most compelling thing about the story to me. You know, a fire mage with a grass mage, a Bulbasaur with a Charmander. Pretty interesting. But also, I have no issue if Chandra was heterosexual, which she was in the book. That's one writer's take on the book. He's writing for a living, and for him to get bad reviews, for him to be blacklisted, I mean, you're affecting a dude's livelihood, right? Just like you affected Teresa Nielsen's livelihood when Autumn goes ahead and attacks her all the time. And that's why Reed Duke is not in a position of power. His livelihood is dependent on this MTG mob community, and he has to bow down, and he has to you know, nod, and he has to say, yes, please, yes, please, can I have more, sir? It's pathetic. But that's what happens when you dedicate your whole life to Magic the Gathering. And you have no other outside skills. Take the uh, Star City Games writers who are being laid off en masse. Dude, if your only skills you can write Magic the Gathering articles. What? Wh what? What? That's why magic should be a hobby. It should not be your main source of income. Because at any time, the community can turn against you. And Reed Duke learned this, and that's why he apologized two days later. Because he was afraid of losing his job. Now, we might say, oh, Reed Duke is a nice guy, and he's blah, fluffy, and whatever. But when push came to shove, his own beliefs... The only reason you apologize is because you're sorry for something. What is Reed Duke sorry for? Supporting his friend Owen? No. He's sorry. If you come into this thread and call what Reed did a step, apologizing for nothing to avoid further Twitter anguish, please, and I cannot stress this enough, get bent. Right. He didn't even need to make an apology. People are just too privileged and undeserving of him. But he did need to make an apology. I would argue that he's going to get kicked out of the NPL if unless he apologized. So, hmm. In summary, Reed Duke was forced to apologize for something that I don't think he w should have been forced to apologize. But nonetheless, he was. And you might ask, why was this the case? is because he was afraid of losing his job. My goal, and what I'm interested in, is I wonder what happens to Wedge when the donations no longer come in. I think Magic the Gathering will be MTG Arena. But MTG Arena, they don't need to select MPL members. They're actually very bad at Magic. They can't cheat, right? So they're really bad at it. I mean, we already caught one cheater, Yu Yu Watanabe. We potentially caught another one, Owen. Maybe, I don't know. We'll find out later. And some of them are terrible Magic players, like Jessica. Have you seen her play on Twitch? It's the epitome of really bad Magic, as I have a video on it showing, as he played Saviz. Another not great Magic player, but at least he has life options. My MPL design would be very simple. We hire the most popular streamers, or we make offers to them. And like uh, disguised toast would be really good. Um, we, you know, uh, any League of Legends people, Pokemon, if we can afford her, would be great. And then we just pay them PewDiePie, right? We probably don't even need to pay PewDiePie. It'll do it for free. And we get them. And this is like the nightmare. This is the left nightmare, right? PewDiePie. Can you imagine how upset? But in one video, PewDiePie has more views than the whole MPL and their whole lifetimes combined. You think I'm kidding? No, I'm serious. What is that magic video of PewDiePie's? Like at least 10 million views or something per video. Which of these MPL members can even break 100,000 views a video? Which of these dudes have more than 100 Twitter Twitch watchers at one time? None of them. So how, again, are they promoting our game besides being paid to be leftist liberals? Huh? Answer is they are not. I'm refusing to buy new product in... Well, I will buy singles because I think there's money to be made. 
But I don't think there's any money to be made from boxes, as I've told you from my store. Um, everything else that I sell has a 40%, typically a 40% margin with few exceptions. Magic's margin is less than 25%, which is terrible, 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 terrible margins. And I don't think any of these new things are going to sell. Like, if I were to be frank with you, there's too many new things. Mystery Booster Packs, which is 2,000 reprints. New Commander products. We're getting tons of Commander next year, by the way. Uh, and that's why the Commander prices are deflated. I mean, prices are very low for all. Even for December, which is Christmas time, you know, Vintage Market is trash. There's, not, there's not, nothing left. There's no way, way that you can tell me Reed Duke should have apologized. And because he apologized, he set the standard. And that is the danger Reed Duke posed. Now everybody has to apologize for every action that offends someone on Twitter for Magic the Gathering community. Otherwise, you will be kicked out. You, your cards may be defaced. Your artwork may be defaced. Your book may be reviewed by Tolarian Community College. Of course, a fantastic English writer who published exactly zero items of note. For a college professor, he sure doesn't have any college publications. Which is weird, right? Because that's what like college professors are paid to do. At least at NYU they were. I don't know at his community college what they were paid to do. But uh, clearly they were not paid to publish papers. I mean, could, could he at least get like a poem published or something? Not even a poem. 